Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things in which you might not know about YouTube that if you follow them, you will be able to uh, become successful as a YouTuber. Okay, so when I just started uh, this uh, channel, right, I, I, I used to hold my camera um, vertically, you know, like this, right? Uh, so for, for the first set of videos, like probably about a couple of weeks worth of video, my videos were like this. Then afterwards, I, um, after doing some research, yeah, you know, you're, you're so anxious to be on this system that you're not even taking steps to realize that, um, persons are not doing their videos like that anymore. Well, they never usually do it anyway, right? Um, so this, this, this thing which you need to know about, uh, YouTube, it's about equipment and the whole idea of uh, management of equipment all right so uh, getting back to how i usually hold um the equipment in which i have whether it be a phone a tablet or a camera right so i usually hold the phone like that or the tablet or the camera right and um i, I after going back now after three 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 and a half years i realized that persons are still watching those videos but um i, I don't think that they were of the best quality compared to what i have now what i have been doing now all right so the first thing that you need to know is that your equipment management um you know how you actually uh use the equipment is of integral importance in reaching your audience it is important all right number two thing that you should know about youtube and you know getting reaching that your milestone whether it be monetization um subscriber uh views whatever time whatever is your optimal goal right now okay so i am um, i am not a famous youtuber but i have been able to pick out 10 integral uh things that you should know uh, based of my experience because you see one thing I've learned I'm um, growing up in Jamaica in the tropics in the Caribbean is that um, experience is the greatest teacher okay so I talk about the equipment um, talking about the whole idea well I never talk about it let me talk about it now I'm going back to equipment uh, so my, my videos because my videos were taking so long to upload when I do them at 10 uh, 1080 um, you know pixel uh, whatever you call it um, I decided that I was going to do it, um, the video, so as to send it to an email or send it, you know, save it at a smaller um, DPI, or what you call it, pixel, right? So I realized that those videos, the qualities were like not, not good, none at all. And when I started to see my videos at 1080 or more, I realized that the quality of the videos improved, right? Uh, YouTube gives you, I think you are 125, 2 something, 3 something, 4 something, 7 something, and then you have 1080. Right? 1080 is the, is the, is the highest. I guess uh, probably YouTube will be changing that policy in a short bit uh, since everybody's going 4,000 now, right? Uh, for those persons who don't understand what I'm saying, I'll explain to you in the description, right? Where in which I'll give you a brief summary as to. The all all 10 because this is a really long video and i really want to get rid of it before you know before night comes all right so uh so that 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 that's that's that, that actually played on my mind for a bit in which i wondered how is it that i can get my videos to be of the quality of some other videos in which i have seen um so i started to use a uh, movie maker right um movie maker yeah windows movie maker or something like that right and i'm still using it now right it's an old video editing software uh it, it is free with uh my laptop in which i bought a purchase so i you know i become accustomed to it and i played around it the different sections in it uh know how to take out the sounds to put in other sounds change the background to do all that so i've learned over the year and, and it has made me a better individual in editing my videos okay so uh software is also of integral importance when considering uh a youtube channel uh a point to note i do not like to see the, the, the you know like when you're when you're when you're using promo video 
um, editing software and you actually say for example client whatever whatever at the at the, at the, at the, at the end of the, the video I, I don't like to see that um, I'm gonna be purchasing a new video editing software somewhere um, some some sometime shortly uh, you will you will see the impact of that and um, what I've learned is that it's not really necessarily the video editing software which, which actually draws your audience to you you know but it's actually the number two thing uh, which is your presentation uh, sometimes we as presenters persons sharing YouTube uh, videos we seem lackluster and we seem a little bit not confident uh, in actually presenting our content for example uh, in my older videos you will see me using um, um very very uh, often until um even one of my viewers uh, well, a friend of mine she said boy you have a lot of arm man i be arm and saying every sentence i use arm um, as if i'm not I, I, I'm, I'm 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 just not concentrating on the fact that i'm using arm um, that regular so your presentation your confidence your your, your the, the whole idea of um you you putting forward yourself um assuring your audience your viewers that you know the content you know what you're talking about and you're not like guessing and spelling or you know wondering if that is the right thing to say right so presentation is of integral importance when considering um making a video right your your, your background you're talking about your background noise you're talking about persons walking around uh, behind you doing a video shoot or uh, doing, doing uh, I don't have a video shoot, I don't have a big camera. This is my phone. It's either my phone, my tablet, or a small camera in which I use, right? But um, you have some presentations, persons are actually walking, like passing, doing the present, and, and it just look tacky. And the, the, the messed up thing about it is that it's not being edited. Also, be mindful that uh, not all the music that you actually integrate within your video, persons might gravitate to it. I've learned that the hard way. I've, I've actually placed several music on several of my videos um white persons might like it to say hey um jamaican music I like it but jamaican persons for example um i got church and we put some reggae music in the background of one of my videos right and the young people within the church i say i watched your video i like it but i was disappointed with the music right so um in a sense you have to be very cognizant of that so you have to be like presenting your thing uh in a mutual on a mutual basis where in which everybody will actually appreciate whether it be water beating somewhere or you know something something that is that is just common something that is much more appreciated than you know making a beat some hip-hop song or some dance or song or some reggae song which is not really fully appreciated by many persons your viewers okay so um going to number three chances are i might end up going back to some of them because i'm not using a script i don't use script in doing my video and that, that's another thing right all right so going to number three now your viewers and your audience now um did you know that you are more powerful than your viewers and your audience a lot of persons will tell you the opposite that your viewers and your audience are more um powerful than you but no that is not true uh you see i've lost over mm, about 800 subscribers during the lifetime of my channel mm, 800 right so 800 plus what i have now i would have had probably about um, roughly about 3000 something okay cool so Although I've lost all those, have actually gained more. And if you look at the world population, uh, the world population is roughly mm, nearly 8 million. Right? Um, United States of America is just cheap, 300 and something million, while India, Caribbean, uh, uh, Europe, all hold more persons than America, right? When you put them together. So it's not like you're doing a video for like your country alone you're doing a video for everybody right so while someone might not appreciate your share um because they think that it is just irrelevant you know it's not up to spar and all that don't pay them any mind continue to do your thing because here what, this is what i'm going into which is really really touching to a lot of persons when you do your video right do not feel disheartened 
uh, when persons do not watch it at the same time. And going down the line, listing the 10, you will understand why I say that. All right. What happened is that sometimes it takes a little bit of time before the impression on YouTube actually showcase your video as a video to watch. Sometimes, just as though you have a pile of stones um, in your yard, you might have a, a, um, a, a gold nugget somewhere in that pile of stone, but it takes a while before it's actually reached and somebody actually discovered it, right? What you should do is to assert yourself a little bit more, um, become associated with the persons who you feel might help you along the journey. Don't feel disappointed because the moment you feel disappointed, the moment you um, delve in self-pity, the moment in which you lose your self-confidence and you know your, your motivation to go on, is that time now you end up in what you call depression. And although you might not admit that, uh, usually people who are in depression never normally admit that they are in depression, right? Uh, and they situation occur which is really detrimental right uh yeah people really go to the hospital mental wing because of how they are treated on youtube i mean i have had a channel made for me in particular where in which um it actually showcased me in several derogatory manner and i answered not right at the time right uh, a lot of persons in which I thought were like friends to me would actually go on that channel and comment on that channel and delve in laughter and uh, you know as if they are j trying to drag me out but you know sometimes you have to allow the animals to be out there in the wild while you in the house find yourself in the fan okay um, so the viewer is important the audience is important but you must remember that you are trying to find uh you you are trying to find a, 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 a an audience a set of viewers that are in tune with what you're doing and gradually your audience will build now um i have been on youtube from 2017 mm. 2017. When I just started, I promoted the whole idea of I sub do sub, right? I sub me, me sub you, and all that, right? Um, after going through about two years, you know, person subbing me, and you know, I checking them out and all that, I realized that they are they are just with my channel, uh, subscribe to my channel for a short period of time, right? I still have the subs. Some of them still, right? But pff, I don't know where they are at right now, right? But um, they, they did subscribe to me. I did subscribe to them, but what, what realized what I realized is that uh, They don't really watch my channel. They don't really watch my videos uh, They might just click on the video a couple of seconds like I have this I have this show, right? I'm not sure if it's from North America or India, but I think it's from India uh, Each time I upload a video uh, within 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 seconds, I will see a dislike Hmm. and then probably if 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 my likes are going up you will see one two three four more dislikes right uh it seems like that person have like pff, like more than one account but anyway that, that has not um swayed me anyway that just motivated me to continue coming back to my audience i know i'm talking a lot right i said that this video is very long all right so the audience the viewers they are looking for something that actually holds their attention they are looking for something that makes your video something in which they want to return to watch the audience have seen other videos similar to yours you now need to put a spin on your video that makes it different and makes other individuals want to return to watch your video for example a lot of persons will do video on let's say breeding light bears right okay cool but what really really digs is if you can get a camera you can get a system up and you can actually record the live bears actually giving birth I mean the babies actually coming through the, the thingy right that would be awesome now usually when persons give a video on but share a video on that 
uh, you will see the fries. You see the adult, and then they say they wake up this morning and they find the fries swimming and all that. Right? Yes, parent give birth. What, what unique about what I said before is that you have actually captured the process of giving birth. Right? So this makes your channel a little bit more a little bit more enticing to watch. For example, um I had I, I did not have any 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 underwater camera between 2017 when I started to August August, yeah, about August, about July 2018. I, I, I took a trip, vacation, I went abroad, I got a camera, I came back. And what I realized is that um, I got more appreciation for my videos that I have been looking at my fish um, at the top. I have got more appreciation for them, uh, for, for the, the share that is. Uh, when I placed the camera in and I did my little editing, I actually see the fish swimming in the water. Persons tend to like that a little bit more. However, if I had chosen to, let's say, um, because I have fans, so that's what makes my system unique, right? A lot of persons don't have underwater camera. They have their, their glass box, the aquarium, and they hold their phone or a gadget in front of them, the, the aquarium, and it shows really cool, right? So, kudos to them. That, that That's good, right? But for me, I am actually showing a different sphere of fish keeping. Um, I, I am showing the whole idea of, of keeping fish outdoor, as you can see, right? I'm outdoor right now, right? Um, how I keep my fish, the type of fish I keep, and they don't know the daily routine and how they actually manage in this situation. All right. So I have looked at about three, all right, so far. Uh, don't ask me to remind you about them. I won't have to list them at the end because honestly as I said before I'm just talking based off my experience so please note that the audience and the viewers are important however you determine you determine what you want to share although the audience and the viewer well audience or the viewer same person um might suggest certain things that you share you have the control as to whether or not you want to share that Right? If you feel as if you don't want to share that, don't share that. Right? If you feel you want to share, share it. But remember, one audience suggests something to you, chances are another 10 audience might not like what they suggest. So you have to just um, be creative, be your own person, write a storyline, if, if that, that's how things work out for you. Right? Set the thing in order and allow them to like you for who you are. Don't, don't change yourself because you want persons to come in and to accept you for who you are all right all right um number four now i realize that um having a youtube channel can be for several reasons no you can have a youtube channel for entertainment you can have a universe um youtube channel for um uh, as a business in a sense that um for example um you have entertainers who have youtube channel what they use they use this youtube channel so as to promo their, 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 their videos uh for the different songs and their albums and persons watch them like them and you know they they, they don't want an advertisement in between so what they do they actually go out and buy the album right and that's a good way for business right persons also use youtube as a means of education now education can be in enemy education can be in any way right you can have education in fish keeping you can have entertainment in fish keeping you can have um business in fish keeping all three can be found on youtube persons have their fish room and i see a lot of that, of that right persons have their fish room they have their fish talk they have the youtube channel and they use the medium of youtube so as to promote what they have and to get sales and then now they direct them to other platforms in which they can actually conduct business such as paypal amazon you know uh instagram facebook whichever they are more comfortable with right so uh my channel is uh, i said this in several of my shares my channel is not necessarily for entertainment my channel is for education i'm an educator by profession 
a trained teacher uh, for the past 24 years in the high school system where I actually manage a classroom and I manage a block at my school right so um, that's where I'm at right it's all about education every single video in which I do there is some takeaway in which I wish to share with you so that you can have your own experience in fish keeping and you can be a better fish keeper all right so you have to mark out the reason for your YouTube channel are you going to be doing entertainment clips or entertainment scenes or entertainment you know scripts entertainment you know shares or are you going to be doing a business type uh, relationship uh, with your audience or with your viewers uh, are you going to be doing an educational you know type of thing or are you going to be mixing it I, the mixing is very dangerous because it kind of um, allow the, 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 the audience or the viewer to determine especially when it comes down to edit, the entertainment to actually determine what you do or what you do not do uh, there are certain things I don't do on my channel and I, I will never do <laughs> I'm not going to list them but when they do come up through suggestions I say no I don't do those things all right so that, that that's what I think that you need to recognize the real reason for your YouTube channel entertainment business education and there are some others that probably might fit into any of the three but these are the three main categories all right so you do your entertainment or you do your education or you do your business so the the, the 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 next the next thing that you should know i'm not even gonna remember how much i'm gone all right uh the next thing you should know um with regards to uh youtube when doing your youtube channel you don't need no fancy graphics no fancy equipment no fancy um system setup so as to share your content you see once your content is legit and once your content actually speaks from your heart once your content is shared with this enthusiasm that 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 you, that, that, that you have from the from the from the get-go uh, you, 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 you like this so you're putting all the energy in it once your content has that the enthusiasm will show in your share in your presentation and persons will like you for your humility or your honesty and for your straightforwardness it pains my heart several times when I see persons actually trying to transform their YouTube channel into a framework that actually fits within a genre or should I say within a spe specific social class um, so as to ensure that they become popular right um, persons have actually used the metadata um, you know study the metadata on YouTube and actually use it at their advantage so as to get persons to actually come to their shares to, to actually view their shares really right um this leads me to my next point whenever i do a video i do not do a video primarily to last for a week or for a month or a couple months i do a video to last for a lifetime so therefore if i am doing a video as to let's say um your so tail is pregnant how can i tell um probably those persons who have actually subscribed to my channel is not interested in that because they are already know about so tail however the thing is when you put in the tags and when you put in the titles for your video um uh, you might have a novice or a newbie that is interested in knowing that right and when they type that into youtube because you have videos on that particular topic the impression will actually go up as your your video um is shared comes up at the side of youtube when persons actually type that in right so it's of importance right so i do video where which i never know that some of these videos would actually hit seven thousand six thousand and ten thousand views right i did videos because i just felt for the moment that i should just speak about it for example i did a video on um on youtube 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 um comment right i i did it because i was being trolled at the time by this person from i think it's singapore or, or india right um the same person which i told you that they are like uh, they i don't know if they are gay or what but they just keep on messing with me right right so i i felt as if i i i i, I wanted to to share how i felt at that point in time so i did that video 
and up to now each day i have roughly about 200 persons actually looking at that video and this is something that i never really expect right i have videos where in which i um i've actually shared and thought that these videos are like you know they are stuck at 20 view 30 view like for months and then all of a sudden I've, I've, when i went back to check i really see these videos like at 100 and something 200 and something 300 and something. i'm like wow right so whenever you do your videos and, and and this is based on this is based on the type of the type of videos that you do that's why i stick to educational videos where they can be applied at any get go within the youtube experience so my videos are 2016 sorry 2017 right it might look a little tacky but if you listen to the information you will find that the information shared is of value and you can actually use it so as to better your fish keeping experience all right so here you go again i'm going down the line as to things that you should know about youtube when going on youtube all right now it's important for you to separate your your personal life from your youtube life when you try to mix both up your personal life and your youtube life together you're gonna have a little issue there sometimes this might lead to uh relationship issues especially like if you're married partner you know your kids or whatever you might end up with issues why because um it's as if there's no limit as to when youtube ends and when the family life actually begins you understand you can't be doing youtube 24 hours a day you have to know that listen um if, if you're going to treat it as a work you're going to treat it as a work um, um I'm, I'm going to be doing youtube um on sundays or on, on saturdays or, or on fridays or um three days in a week or whatever you do those days and then the rest of the time family so always have time for family and regardless of how you might feel about your channel um your channel need this so as to inject a little bit more life in it um remember um consult your family and this is the best way to go right um going down the line i'm not even counting I'm not, i don't know how much i reach already right but anyway going down the line uh I, I intend for this video to be about 30 30 35 minutes i look like time is just kicking away all right so going down the line uh another thing that you should know about youtube right is that uh you can become monetized very easily using stream but here's a catch when you stream videos and you do not produ produce produce you do not produce any content for example videos you know like 10 8 minutes which is more preferable by youtube um you don't produce any videos what you find is that after a while um the the audience doesn't really care about your videos they want to see you because you are the show right so if you fail to exist in the stream for a few weeks that mean your audience will be lost i have not done streams in a while and to tell you the truth it's not that i don't want to do streams but the but the the idea of doing streams to to, to monetize I, I i'm not too in favor of that i love doing videos and that's the reason why I've been doing a lot of video 1000 or 1003 something videos so far right uh 268 60, well i'm in december now 268,000 subscribers <laughs> ah that's a g right i'm just messing with you i just have 2500 and something subscribers right uh 268 or something like that no 70 73 thousand view right and i'm not monetized as yet right but i'm still enthused with the whole idea of of, of doing videos because i like videos I, I am not i'm not running down the the the, the monetization process uh because i think it's a reason why um time is of an essence as far as monetization is concerned let me share this with you a lot of person get monetized and then um after a while as if they they are lost as to what they do next because they have actually 
spill the beans within the making within the making of the what I call it reaching the, uh, the, 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 the the requirement that there's just no more to give right I have a bunch of projects in which I plan to do when I do get monetized and um, I'm just waiting on that moment right and hopefully it will be like summer probably early next year I, I'll be monetized and then in the summer I'll be doing those projects and those projects will actually lead on to other projects and my channel will actually grow right um so that's it with, with stream and, and and actual presentation all right um let me let me wrap up this video because it's going a little bit too long if i if i never count to 10 i'm sorry i'm just i'm just talking i'm, I'm, a, I'm a talker when i'm ready all right so um in wrapping up in wrapping up all right the, 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 another thing that you should know about youtube is that if you if you are a youtuber right and um you do not set goals you'll find that it's difficult for you to um challenge yourself in in going forward uh you see goal setting is one of the primary thing that actually pushes me um so i have 1300 odd videos right and out of that i have roughly about hmm, what 120 videos scheduled um, between now and i think it's what the 28th of april so honestly i don't know when this video is coming out because everything is i have already been scheduled up to the 28th of april so to get this video fit in i'm now gonna have to take out a video that was scheduled for the date in which it is actually being shown now and actually place it probably april the 30th right so you, you get a full understanding of what i'm saying so the, 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 in, in setting your goals right and thinking about all possibilities for example let's say that um, chances are I, 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 I'm ill right and I'm unable to do videos or you know something happened to my laptop and I'm unable to edit videos I lose everything right um, I still have to have that connection uh, you know doing presentations and all of that so I practice the whole idea of, 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 of scheduling my videos so my audience or my viewers won't be lost in between that time in which I need to get a new laptop or new editing software or new um, a virus consume something and I need to sort out that or uh, equipment messed up and I need to get new ones so I have I have at least four four win, four four month window so as to get myself sorted out um, so setting goals is one of the primary keys that you need to know when doing your youtube channel for example you might start out um let's say you're doing here right after a while you're going to be your clients or should i say not clients hmm, your viewers your audience are going to be tired of of um of seeing you doing here they want to see something else yeah, that, that's what some people tell me ah uh, sir well, you know, I'm a teacher, so I share my channel with my students. Sir, it's only official when you look at it. You don't look at this, you don't look at that. Uh, my daughter, my daughter is inside and she's like, she's watching this, this, she's watching The Sims and she's watching, um, Shira and Carter, some Carter Shira or something like so. And she's watching some other, some other stuff and she'd be like watching these YouTube videos for the entire day. And she don't watch mine. And I ask so why don't watch my videos um are my videos said so, daddy i'm there when you're making the video so watching your videos is like i'm watching everything all over again so that's kind of true right so setting goals is a primary importance objective aims each video what is the message there right the connection right um life challenges you can put that forward in your in your in your in your, in your youtube video all right before i end i'm going to the next one uh it's a paramount importance to realize that i have done actually over 100 collaboration with friends throughout the world spanning from india america europe uh, africa all over the place i i have done collaboration with these individuals i consider all my friends my awesome brothers and sisters 
and guess we know these collaborations have actually opened up opportunities not only for myself but for them also right in meeting new people because what happened is that when they have 700 subscribers I have 2,000 subscribers um, they are they are they are on my channel doing stuff I am on their channel doing stuff what you find is that they, they uh, it's over uh, that there's over 3,000 odd individuals actually get to view that share because send on his and two on mine because I'm going to tell persons to go over there and check and he's going to, uh, he or she's going to say come over and check so what you find is that collaboration actually work right and using collaborative videos actually um, increase increase your impressions uh, when I say impressions you know what impressions mean right impressions mean uh, see Google have this an uh, I call it algorithm yeah algorithm system which uh, looks at your view and your watch time and everything and they do some little calculation maths maths thing um, probably I'm gonna have to ask my son about that right in which they actually calculate all that and then they give you um, uh, uh, impression rate impression rate over 10 is normally excellent right and over 6 is good but over 10 is excellent now if you have a general impression rate of let's say mm, 7.5 8 um, you are heading there and what that does is that whenever anybody put in anything uh, let me speak standard English should in case anyone put in should in case anyone type into YouTube any uh, word or phrase or topic that you have already done right your impression would be made and it depends on the rate of your impression your video might be counted as one two three four five so it, 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 making your impression also ties in with the tags in it you have in a video so therefore it's important some person say that you don't have to know the tag you don't have to put in good tags and all that but that is crap right tags in good tags in your video make uh, allows individual to actually uh, find your video find it easily right so you put in tags you put in a good title um, you, you try to stay away from clickbait um, good thumbnail and you should be on your way right um, collaborated videos also um, help you to understand the, 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 the viewership on the audience or their preference a little bit more right because what happened you know is that uh, my view my viewership in Jamaica being Jamaica fish keeping fish keeping Jamaica is a different viewership let's say than aquafunk and Rob Nietzsche aquatics right why I might have some viewers from um, of those two channels coming over looking at some of my stuff and uh, you know they going over and looking at, at, at their stuff right but their viewership is it's, it's totally different from mine because uh, when you look at the the, 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 the the persona of each individual right it actually acts as a magnet to individuals that is attracted to that it acts as a magnet to individual who actually is attracted to that persona right all right so i'm i'm gonna try see if i can wrap up this video now i've been talking for like like uh this this nearly 40 minutes all right so i'm gonna try to wrap up now so you have several several things that you have to look for um having a youtube channel and it's 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 a very challenging world and you should try to stand out amongst everybody else uh, not necessary to do something that will don't play what other persons have said that's not good that's not right but uh, give, give commendation to persons who have actually done um, similar shares to yours and add on the you know but if you do this and that and that and that it will not only make that that but it will make that more excellent so you're doing let's say that you're doing fry fish right um, if you add that ingredient it will taste like that you understand so it's like you're you're, 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 you're putting everything together to create to create something that is more unique to you to where you are at thank you very much for stopping by I don't know if I reach the 10 things that you should do I have a lot more 
in the tank to talk about but because of time I'm just gonna be you know cutting it a little short enjoy yourself be safe really here